Hey, I'm, I'm Bob. Hey, Bob. Oh, my name's Paul. Good. First you guys work on. at Station 6? Oh, I know how to drive. Oh, hang on to your britches. Oh, just oh, fuck. Oh, I can picture the God fucking gurney just rolling. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to DOJ, jumping in here, doing some Los Santos Fire Department. It has been a minute since we've done this. Uh, this one was actually a lot of fun, we just kind of got in here just to mess with the new fire script, and uh, it worked out really well. There's some adjusted adjustments that we have to make to the overall timing and intervals of stuff, but other than that, I was very, very impressed. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump in here and see what we can get into. We're going to be heading out to a structure fire located around uh, 739 or 5 possibly over there. Um, this is going to be using the new system that we're using with um, London Studios and their automatic fires. So this will be placing fires uh, around the map. Since we started the script after, I don't think it's going to actually show the fire on the map. Which is a little bit unfortunate, but we can look here and see the uh, other fire units responding as well, too. So we're going to be rolling in the uh, fire department today with uh, Denozo in the fire truck. We have medical out there. We have battalion chiefs as well, too. Uh, so it should be action-packed when it comes to the medical calls and all that we that we are going to have in the fire calls. Uh, nothing to do with medical scripts, at least for right the second. But uh, the fire calls are definitely going to be all over the place. If you see the red crosses on the map... Those are actually going to be defibrillator spots. Uh, that script is not working because it's not connected with our framework right now. But in the future, we can make it happen. Uh, but at least for now, there'll be points around the map that uh, civilians can access defibrillators for other civilians if they might need it. They actually are fairly uh, consistent throughout the whole map. Oh my god, this is going to be a big one. This is a massive one. They're bringing the high-rise facts up. Oh, you guys are Bob's here. I don't know. I'm just... Oh, okay. Fuck over here. I thought you were him down there. No, I am you. Oh, I mean, he's you dirty. Me. Did I you see me. him? You were you. Who? I am me. <laughs> I think you need help. What the fuck? What? I'm Bob. Okay. <laughs> he I'm said, Bob. okay. I'm here. We got to get a hose. Okay. Get in the hose. How do I get the hose? Remote. Uh, hose. Slash hose. Going to okay, got it. So they and also have hoses. Okay. Second Spring. On the base of it. Second story. I'm gonna. Do you want me to work on first story? Uh, start with the first story, and then we'll move to the second. Okay. My name's Bob. What's your name? That doesn't help. My name's right Alan. Now, What's your name? Uh, Alan. Alan. I thought you said Aaron. Uh, oh, Alan. Alan. I was gonna be like, that's a, that's a, that's a neutral name that could be used on both Fire's sides. Out. Uh, yeah, Alan. Fire's definitely. out. Hey, I'm I'm Bob. Fire's nice out. Meet you, Bob. Oh, but, but good. Paul. You guys work. Do huh? you guys work at Station Six? We got another one. Yeah. Oh, good. I'll see you there soon. Okay. Well, no, you're not oh, gonna see us. Call. We gotta pack up and go. Uh, you gotta pack yeah, up and go. All right. We gotta pack up and go. All right. Pack it up and going. Okay. So that uh, was not all the fire out. calls yeah, get put out that fast. That was a normally fast, uh, faster than it should have been. Uh, probably 10 seconds worth of fighting the fire there, which is kind of sad. So hopefully other ones last a little bit longer. They do, and they spawn at a whole bunch of different locations. So you could have uh, garbage fires, building fires, uh, alleyway fires, vehicle fires, literally a whole bunch of different stuff. So it's really cool, and we haven't even been through all the different regular locations that they've made so far. So as we keep playing with this script, we'll be able to finite the amount of time that a fire can happen and stuff like that. So right now they are very consecutive, but we can go ahead and uh, change it as time goes on. Yeah. Okay, sounds good. I'll be sure to greet all the firefighters when we get there. You are a firefighter. I know. I'm also... I'm fighting the fire and also talking to them at the same time. You're not a meet and greet. It doesn't matter. I have to stay legible. I have to stay cordial. Formal. Wait, are we going to our own fire? Oh! Oh, shit. We got it bustling. Oh, God. The Dash Hound bus station's on fire. And we just ejected out of those seats. All right, so let's see if we can get this. We're going to have to get uh, some hoses out and start beating down this fire if we can. wonder if we were to crouch. Would it make it look realistic? Yeah. Huh? You'll hold the hose? I will. Okay. Let me know. Oh, sorry. 
Do I gotta get closer and maybe possibly or no? Are we good from here? Go ahead. Okay. Bob's starting to feel unsafe. Okay, Bob, spray. Okay. Okay, it's looking good so far. We got uh, some water on it. As you can see, it does go pretty far if we need it to. We just got to raise the hose up a little. Uh, we're definitely going to need some other hoses on this water. It seems to be kind of just in the front, though, not even on the building, so we might be good. Come on, Bob. Yeah? Yeah, I was going to say, this ain't doing anything. No, back up, Bob. Okay, I'm going to just try to get it with some more water in the meantime. We're going to attempt the... Uh, cannon on the thing. Maybe I can get a little closer and we can both put water on it. I'm going to move up a little, see if I can get some on. You got to go in like a circular motion, so we're going to try to do that. That way we can uh, cut the fire off. Still with two hoses, doesn't seem to be doing anything. As you can see here, this is the difference in uh, fires that I was talking about. Some of them you can put out really easy. It's not. We got to fight it harder. Circular or back and forth? Sweet. Okay, I thought we were doing circular. We do it. We do it different in Wisconsin. We do circular. It's something to do with the with the equator or something. I can't spray anymore. It's because it's out. Stop coming. It, it's okay, but it's the fire is out. We did our job. The Wisconsin FD would be proud. We're going to another one, Bob. Jesus. I haven't even had time to recoup mentally from the last one. one. I know, man. It's a uh, busy we'll day. Yeah, we usually call. get one log on fire in Wisconsin. Hey, we got another fire to go to. It's, it's just going to be the same concession of police officers going from one fucking fire call. We're definitely going to need to fuck with these numbers, but for the first one, it doesn't matter. Might as well have fun and see how it is. But this shit back to back, okay? Like, as soon as we get the hose in the car... Another uh, another person's burning down their fucking house type shit, so. I gotta take this marker off. I don't know if that's mine. I think that's someone else's. Um, okay, so it looks like we're... Okay, that, same with the rest of the world that's burning down. Okay, so it looks like this fire is gonna be right next to the bank. This one's gonna be right next to the bank near the, uh, near the, uh, Chinese theater. It's the theater that's on fire. Okay, yeah, that's what I was saying. It looks like it's right on top. So as you can see, yeah, when you go to the map, you can see the uh, icon. That's not it. You can see the icon of it right here, uh, which would indicate that's where the uh, fire is at. It actually shows exactly what type of fire it is, too. It says theater fire. So you would kind of know exactly where the pinpoint location is. Uh, we got ourselves rolling out. I don't even think I have LSFD as a character, honestly. I don't see a uh, fire. We can go back in service. Oh, good. Bob's getting tired. I need to get back to the station so I can shit in the toilet. Okay, so it looks like we got a fire at the uh, ammunition. We have no one there to let us know how bad the fire is just yet. Uh, but we should be able to get there really soon. It's a little less than a mile away, and it's actually the one uh, near where they already are at up there. Oh, God, we have a large structure fire at the ammunition. So I have a feeling we're going to have a uh, decent flame to battle here with this one. It kind of just all depends, too, because uh, these are all auto automatically based fires, at least for these. Uh, so they all have a different intensity that's kind of spawned with the fire as it goes. Do you? Oh, wow, yeah. That's bad. I do. Bob's getting scared. Okay, yeah, it's definitely going to be a fully engulfed fire here. It is raging out of the uh, side in front of the store. Going to try to hit it with the fire hose best we can. My, my hose is now working inside the establishment for some reason. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I got a kink in my hose. Okay, we're looking good. I say we blast it for a little more. Oh, the floor kind of looks wet. I like it. Almost has like a really good reflection to it, looking like there's water. I think we got it, though. See, some of them are super simple to put out. They might be like really bad looking, but they're actually pretty simple to put out. Yeah, that was good. Another one for the books. This has been my busiest day in history. In one day, beats all the three years in the Wisconsin Fire Force. So it looks like we're now going to swap the uh, rig out for a ambulance so we can go out to the county and pick up a gunshot victim, uh, try to give him some treatment and get him to the hospital. Okay, so a uh, me medic six going to be rolling. If you're wondering why the sirens sound so familiar to GTA Online, that's because they are vanilla. What do we know about the call? I could not get them mixed together to work uh, with custom ones, unfortunately. So, okay, so we have no information on this. Uh, Medic 6 will be rolling out to the county. We have two miles 
two and a half miles till we get to location. That's actually a long, long time till we get there. I am whipping this ambulance, though. We might not want to drive too fast because remember we are in some type of ambulance, which is a lot heavier and deadlier if we were to get into a collision. And what is the point of being medical if you end up killing yourself on the way to treat someone else remember, the best thing you do with is medical? Some... Okay, we're going to be arriving. I'm not sure why there would be a gunshot victim up here in the worst possible fucking place for someone to be. But I guess someone was up here either playing with guns or a gang summit or some shit in just the oddest fucking place ever. Uh, but we're rolling up here, so we'll be able to start treating the victim. I'm going to go for informational stuff like what their name is, if they're conscious and breathing, all that stuff. That way we can kind of establish uh, an identity on the person as well, too. That's if law enforcement isn't there yet and has uh, not done that thing already. There we go. Get in the stretcher. This is the first time I've been able to actually take out the stretcher from there. That's fucking on, sick. Okay, let's bring the stretcher up. I like how all the medical guys always right, say, can you, you bring the stretcher at? up? And it's like, why can't you not just grab the stretcher when you left the ambulance? Okay, let's release it. Someone? Oh my God, that's so good. Was it self-inflicted? So it looks to be shot the in the stomach oh, Bob, and left wanna, thigh. My scissors might be cold too. I was holding them outside of the car window when we were driving. Crap and shit. I'm sorry. Bob. Your name. Bob, 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 Bob. Bob from Wisconsin. We'll work on him in the back. Okay. Take him to the box. Uh, okay, patient's been loaded on the stretcher. <sighs> oh, okay. So we gotta stand here. I definitely will. Bob's the one firefighter, you know, that, uh, that turns the ground okay. on the side and the patient falls. Excuse me, out of the way. We got a patient coming through. Alright, I'll join you in the back with me. Uh, okay. Let's see. Oh, wait, you're good, you're good. Ow. Bob's a Wisconsin Whoa. professional. I'm a Wisconsin 20, professional. 10, there we go. Oh, shit, man. Okay. I'm good. Oh, I know how to drive. Oh, hang on to your bridges. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I can just picture Hang on. Oh, I can picture the fucking gurney oh. just rolling in the back. What's going on up there? <laughs> Please save me. Someone let a fly in Your here, but it's attacking man. us. Okay, we're, we're pulling in. Oh, Emergency God. receiving unit. Thank God. We have made it to our establishment. Oh, we did keep him God. awake. You're goddamn right we kept him awake. Help. That was my one goddamn job. Oh, my God. Are you taking him out? I, I am sure oh, as fuck no. taking this man out. You like the view? What? It, no, I mean, it's better than the other way. Okay, we're going to a car yeah, fire right now. This is one that I really wanted to try because this is something you would see in Los Angeles a lot for some reason. Just something that pops up all the time uh, with car fires. Uh, mostly likely because it could be stolen or just electrical issues and shit like that. Uh, so we'll have to see what this one looks like. I have yet to see this one. Oh, that looks sick. Is it in the garage? Oh. Oh, it's going to be an abandoned car. I see. That's kind of cool. Oh, oh, shit's blowing up as we we're going. We got a live one here, boys. Okay, so we're going to be on scene. I got the turnout gear that we can uh, go ahead and get into really quick. Let's see. Turnout gear. Okay, grabbing a hose. Let's go ahead and get over here and attempt to uh, help with the fire as best as we can under the circumstances. Oh, my God. This is a little drug room back here. Okay, we're gonna. Oh God, my hose isn't working. There we go. Hose is uh, now active. Gonna be we're gonna try to just get water on anything we can. Kind of sick how you see like the. Uh, oh God, that's dope. I'm gonna try to get a better angle over here. Everyone's got fire hoses and shit. It's so much more fucking better looking now. It's fucking dope. Instead of the fire extinguisher shit. I don't think we're going to be able to do this, honestly. Yeah, oh, you can see, I think we're getting a little... When the flame turns blue, it almost looks like... Uh, oh, it's getting bigger. I don't think this is working. The flame's just getting bigger. So I need a fire extinguisher because I do not have one. So let's go ahead and uh, go to weapon options. We're going to get a fire extinguisher. And we're going to do throwable fire extinguisher. We're also going to need to put on weapon options here and we're gonna go to unlimited ammo that way we don't end up running out let's go back to the fire truck i'm gonna get the fire extinguisher though put the hose back uh that way we have one tool at a time okay we'll do that fire hose is disabled grabs grabs x okay there we go that way we don't have to fucking go through the whole word 
Yeah, that, that flame is actually raging at this point. So we're going to need to see if we can battle this one down normally. Oh, yeah. Look at how much smaller it just got. That thing was massive at the start, dude. That was like, we were putting water on it. It was not doing jack shit. If anything, it was just making it bigger. There we go. We're suffocating that flame. Suffocating that flame. Come on. Almost out. Almost out. I need a little bit of help. Oh, God. Why would you even have an assault rifle in the first place? Oh, boy. God damn it. Okay, so we were able to put out that fire. That one took a little bit more effort and energy uh, than the other one. So it, it kind of just all depends. Okay, so we're heading out to Central. Looks like we have a... Uh, a fire at the Central Medical, which is just down the street from this location. That's going to be the other truck. We're in the heavy rescue. So at this point, we have all hands on deck with the fire department. Uh, and that obviously makes sense considering the fact that there's just been so many fucking fires that have been happening this whole goddamn time. It's not even funny. But that's actually not bad. You know what I mean? Okay, we're pulling up to the fire here so we can go ahead and see. Oh, yeah. It's like a garbage fire. We can just check it out. You're not an engine. I am. I am what I want to be. Samil, so get your hose. You start doing right. the dirty. So it definitely looks to be some type of... Uh, oh, it looks to be some type of bushfire or something that happened. Oh, no. Garbage cans on both sides. So someone lit that shit on fire. Would you pull that your ass, Samil? Oh, I rolled it here. Oh, good. Good job. It's not uh, working. I'd have to get an extinguisher if you want me to help, but it looks like you're... Getting it. I'm about to lose the extinguisher. I can grab, uh, I'll, I'll grab one. Okay, I'm gonna grab an extinguisher. It looks like this one uh, is a little stronger than for just one can, but that's why I also put uh, the thing on. Okay, let's go ahead and get up in there. I'll attempt to assist as best as uh, I can. We might be able to knock it down with just oh. this one. Where'd you pull that? My pocket. God damn it. Go back to the fucking fire truck. I'm oh, good. AOP the, uh, statewide now. Like Guess uh, 502 was done. That was a fun AOP, though. Okay, it looks good. Okay. N6 yeah. on scene, 632. Oh, yeah, it looked to be a uh, fiery burrito from Taco Bell. Yeah. That's all it takes. We don't, ha happen. we don't have those in Wisconsin. Yeah. Uh, You're lucky. I know. All right, so uh, 768, we have a uh, structure fire. As you can see here, the old warehouse is on fire. This one I don't think is from the script, though, if I'm not mistaken. So this might actually be a normal fire that has uh, been started by someone else or is part of a scenario or something. Because uh, the other ones are generated. We have that as like a waypoint thing that gets made. So this will be interesting to see exactly what's going on. I'm not sure if anyone else is going out to it. Uh, but this might be an interior that we have to go into as well. I think I've got to also learn the differences between a police car and an ambulance and fire truck. Oh, wow. That's a big fucking fire. Because there has to be a difference in the way that they are uh, driven there. Yeah, that is a lot of smoke. Yeah. This fire looks pretty, pretty damn bad. If we get some LEO here, they can at least help with... Yeah, go fuck yourself. How about that? They can okay, at least help with uh, shutting we'll down the roads. I'm going to do a speed up. zone here. No one is stopping, like, whatsoever. So we're going to just speed zone it. That way we don't have to worry. Then I'm going to delete all these people. There we go. Okay, we're going to get some turnout gear as well, too. That way we can assist with this. I have everything set up so we can switch uh, quickly throughout everything. There we go. And uh, we'll grab a hose so we can just start doing some uh, exterior stuff with the fire. It looks to be full. Oh, it's going down a little. The whole uh, street was blocked before. Damn, homie just came in here, almost killed me, and we're going to need medical here for my dead body. It looks to be inside and on the exterior of uh, the building here. So definitely going to have a uh, big flame to kind of tackle. We need all hands on deck. I think we need the, uh, the fire hose too. Or we need the we need the fire thing that's on top of the fire truck. Maybe that would help. You know what? Let's see if uh, Genoza wants to grab that. You want to grab the one that's on top of the fire truck? Yeah. Oh, fucking Sorry. my face, man! It's a lot of pressure, bro. Shit. That might be our best bet with this one, though, because like the the flame is so intense that I don't know if we're gonna be able to knock this down uh, without extra fucking help like that. Because there is not shit that we are doing. 
in any way, shape, or form to the uh, smoke inside there. What's he doing? Uh, trying to pull the. Trying to pull him out. Yeah, but. How's that work? In the, in the oh God. Well, at least we know you won't get pulled in, or he won't get pulled in more. So I guess that's good. Uh, you get your like those old leashes they put on the kids in the store. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Ouch. Well, that, that, that <laughs> yeah, wasn't. <it> <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know it came out on the lower side as well, too. That's uh, that's interesting. All right, we're going to be moving inside the uh, place here because there's nothing we can do from the outside. Okay, here we go. Let's try to hit it where we can. Let's see if this actually does anything with this fire script or if they're just not going to work together at all in any way, shape, or form. Because technically, I am on the fire. Let's move back and forth like uh, we were told to in the start. See if that actually helps put anything out. It looks like the fucking water's just coming out of their mouth, though. It's fucking fantastic. I am not making a dent over here. Not a goddamn dent. Not Firefighters are getting knocked down and shit. I'm not making a dent. It's not working. We need some heavy artillery in this. You got the engine around back if you want to start blowing in. Well, we need some. I haven't made a dent over here on this side. Go for, go for, uh... Oh, God, you're running through it. You're a hero. I don't see it. You don't see it. It's literally in front of us. We're battling a huge flame. I see absolutely nothing. Well, there you go. It's like we're in uh, uh, Peter Pan when they're all at the dinner table and they're like, but you just got to eat. There ain't nothing there. Oh, there we go. We got it. Nicely done. It's out for me. Yeah, it's out. Whoever could see it at least. I, I don't see nothing. So it looks muscle. like some people saw it and some people didn't, but that was an interesting one because that wasn't that was through the fire script. So technically that that isn't really running through the script. Uh the the normal fire script yeah, that's no on its own. from the yard here. But yeah, we got it out. Oh my god, are you stupid? What is wrong with you? I'm going to save him. Sir, are you okay? Okay, so lay down. You've just been involved in an accident because you're an idiot. Two Lincoln 7040 units going to their shots. What's hurting? Can you grab a medical bag? It's a good thing we're right across from the station, so I will call it in in a second. What are you doing backing up? What do you mean? I'm I'm leaving the fucking gas station. That's not how you leave. Battalion 6, uh, we're 837 McDonald Street, and we just struck a male on his bicycle. If we can get an ambulance over here. Sir, do you know where you are right now? James Down. Uh, do you know your name? Pablo. Okay, what's, uh, what's hurting besides, what'd you say, your back? My back and my knee. I scraped my shoulder a little your bit. Your knee, okay. Why the bag? I mean the bag. Uh, 24 Whoever's closest would be great. Rescue six would be in route to the uh, accident zone. All right, sit tight. We got uh, some rigs rolling up for you. Okay. AMR units are gonna be on route. I'm gonna tell you right now. You're probably gonna survive Rescue this. You don't have anything to worry about. Can I get another med unit? Maybe next time we'll look both ways before crossing the street. Yeah, can we get like six uh, more rigs over here, please? To guys here, help this guy out. Out. Absolutely, he is an idiot, anyways. Copy that. We're going to go ahead and head to So, the this guy was jumping around. We were backing up out of the uh, gas station. Yet. We ended up making our turn yeah, here out. And uh, he jumped on the top. Long. Basically, like, lost control, fell, got hit by the car a little. He's complaining okay, of uh, back and leg pain, conscious and breathing. Is ANO times 4 still a thing? Yeah, it is. 
this Yeah, you know times four G says fifteen? Damn, I do know something. Can I get the English version of that, please? That means he's talking. Alert, alert. awake, oh, nice. So this guy was That's breaking so every traffic haste. law known to mankind. Okay, well, let's <laughs> just have the medic <laughs> the, come to the, the unit just smacked the fucking wall on the way in. Uh, I'm going to change my voice distance here. Uh, here's your, uh, I don't know right what you guys are going to do, but uh, as we were pulling out, he was jumping around like a crackhead was, all over the lane, was, not following any like road rules at all. Jumping around the lanes, jumping over everything he could. He jumped over our car, hit the car, lost control once he went down on the paint, and then got smacked by the car a little. Yeah, sorry, sir. All right, yeah, we'll catch up with the Okay. You guys all look good today. God damn it, Smoobo. Very symmetrical. Oh, it's okay, man. We can take you. Hey, these guys are going to want to speak to you after you get done with the hospital as well, too. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I would not fuck with That's, any of them. Yeah, it's oh, also the gang unit, though. so. Hey, you better put that fist away, homie. He's, uh, I don't think he needs to go. <laughs> he starts walking yeah, away. Oh, my <laughs> all deep, but though. I know, they're all rolling in. That's a lot of grown-ass men in one Durango, not gonna lie. Is Durango code word for... Literally the car yeah, over there. He's screwed. Buildings here in the port. Okay, we're good. What do we want to do with this bike? Do we leave it? We're not the police. Word up to that. A holler at him. Let him know. Hey guys, I'm gonna leave his bike over here. Oh, by the way, too, by the legs, gas station. Hey, they want me to spread my legs. Okay, a call just came out for a uh, mail at the VU being called by uh, LEO, uh, complaining of some type of uh, pain that he's having. So we're just going to get there a little bit before the uh, rig and the engine and all that. Since we are in a faster car, we can just kind of be there with them. We're rolling up right now. We're going to just talk with them and see what's going on with this guy. Maybe we can give him a little pre-assessment before the, uh, the rig gets here. What's going on with the guy? Uh, uh, he's over here. Okay, let's have a, hey, yeah. Uh, uh, so he got, uh, he's claiming that somebody threatened to shoot at him. Okay. He shoot back at him he's he's some control. kind of head trauma. I can get him out of the vehicle for you. Did he, did he get hit in the head? Uh, I'm not too sure. Injury, so seven, seven, okay. seven, Is he awake? Two, heading uh, yes, sir. Okay, perfect. Bike, How you doing, sir? Good. Out Go ahead. Los Santos Fire Department here. We're just going to get you checked out, see what's going on, okay? okay. You want to explain what injuries you have or whatnot? Um, so as far as I know, uh, just uh, trauma to the head. I got you, punched. You got punched? Five, six times. Okay. Any, uh, any open wounds on there? Do you mind if you... Push your head down so I can see. Um, yeah. It was obvious that it was self defense. You were getting attacked. Lucky 24 to medical. Uh, seems like he was punched in the head several times, you. upwards of six times. I'm checking for open wounds right now, but uh, he's complaining of possible head injury. Okay, I'm going to bring the rigs Mega. down here. We're going to get you checked out. I'm just looking for some open wounds to make sure. Interstate 2. Hey, you do got some type of cut on the back of your head there. Okay, I'm going to grab some uh, gauze really quick just to hold that till the. Uh, Rick gets here. Do you want to just uh, hold with him really quick? One sec. I'm going to get his head kind of just held here. We're going to hold this. All right, we're just going to hold this on there. About 50 feet behind from the Union 2 1 if you want us. Any other stuff you got hurt in or just that? Uh, no, sir. I think uh, he just punched me in the head and then Medic after I shot, he ran off. Okay. Good. Not making good friends today, I see, uh, huh? Uh, I, I don't know. We just uh, head on with the. But no. Okay, well, as far as I know, the guy has no idea who I even am. No, that's a bummer. So that was yeah, the guy that was um, just, uh, scotching your tires uh, earlier in the yes, earlier in the week. From what I understand, the officer <laughs> came into the vanilla unicorn and said that, uh, down the guy may potentially come back. That was me, yeah. Point. Working a different okay, job here. Good. Yeah. Yes, sir, I recognize the voice. Okay, so, uh, yeah, he came back, I see. He yeah, did. he came I back. He waited oh, son of a bitch. Over here to the right. I mean, and then just jumped me from behind. Oh god! I think in your other job, I think you said that you uh, were expecting. Him. I was. Yes, I knew he would, but I didn't think he was gonna come back that quick. I got several bumps on the head, as long as the laceration on the back of the head. I got a bruise forming on the right eye. 
Okay, patient's being loaded up right now for hey, so the laceration on his head. Uh, he slashed my tires and my car got towed. So yeah, this, if you guys remember the last LEO episode, I'm not sure if this is going to come out before, after, middle. I'm really not sure. I'm going to try to keep it in order as I can so that way it makes sense to you guys. Um, that would mean that this episode wouldn't come out for like a week though. So I'm really not sure if I want to wait that long. But you guys will kind of see as the story comes together why. Absolutely. Okay, so they're taking them off from here. We're going to go ahead and shut our trunk. Um, but yeah, chances are this will probably come out way before just because it's been so long since we've done LSFD and I don't want to sit on it. And we could just get back in and do more. So uh, we're going to be 10-8. All right, everyone, that's going to be where we wrap up this episode of DOJRP. Getting in with the LSFD, a little bit of medical as well, too. I just wanted to test it, so this most likely is going to be a shorter episode. Possibly pull out some uh, other LSD stuff that we did last time if we made any references to that. Uh, we got a few calls in there, so I, I know I'll be able to make an episode out of this, no problem. Uh, uh, but this was just kind of so testing. I thought I wanted to show you guys and uh, just kind of let you guys see what we're going to be working on over the next couple weeks here, trying to get right and perfect for our community and all that stuff. Uh, but nonetheless, hope you guys enjoyed this episode of DOJRP, and we will see you next video.